in the public school system adjacent to where you live and including where I live. Including where we are right now. And including where we are right now. Yes. Masks are back on. As of today. I mean, I, each one of these things, if you break down each one of these things, we, we can have discussion and conversation as to whether they are Joe Biden's fault. OK, I think it's an open question on each of them. But they're happening on his watch. Right. It, it, it doesn't matter. It, at some point, it doesn't matter if they're his fault or not. The fact that they're happening on his watch is just going to cause people to be totally fatigued with the status quo. And I, I see no scenario. He, he'd be 81 in November of 2024. He would be 81. And there are already questions about to what extent he's lost a step. There's no prospect. So then you say, well, even if he knows in his heart that he can't run for reelection, he can't say it. Can't say it. No, wait, I'm playing along here. I'm oh, not agreeing no. with that. Oh, I am, I am agreeing not with that. agreeing with wait, that. Wait, you're not agreeing no, with that? I am not agreeing with that. He cannot that. say that. He'll Why? Because he'll be a lame duck? He's a lame duck already where Republicans are absolutely going to take control of at least so why the House lame, of Representatives. So why be a double duck? So maybe, so maybe, as I said earlier, maybe it's actually to his advantage to say, hey, we got a lot going on in the country. My plate is full and I need to concentrate not on raising money, not on campaigning. I need to be focused. This is the greatest honor that an American can ever be given, and I want to be singularly focused on our problems and not our politics between now and the election of 2024. I heard so you then. I'm, I hear you I'm now. Out. But not no. I'm out. I'm LBJ. I'm LBJ. <laughs> 